Do you know that online shopping can also increase inflation? Hello students, how many of you are aware of financial inflation in today's world? I guess many of you are already aware of this. But if you are not, then let me tell you. Inflation in our country has started rising. And I guess we have already started noticing that prices are going up for your favorite snacks or daily essentials. That's inflation. But what exactly is inflation? And why does it happen? In simple terms, inflation is the increase in the prices of goods and and services over time. This means your money buys less than it did before. It can affect everything from your school supplies to your favorite pizza. Today, we'll explore the causes of inflation in India, how it impacts your daily life as a student, and some practical tips on managing your finances and this environment. So, let's dive in and understand how inflation shapes our economy and your budget. Firstly, I'll provide two simple examples to help you understand the reasons behind inflation. There are two important reasons I'll describe it here. Let's say a new mobile phone enters into the market. It's so attractive that everyone wants to buy it, but there is not enough production to meet the demand. So, what happens in this case? Naturally, the prices increases, right? Similarly, when people started spending more and buying more, the general prices of goods and services increased. This happens because business can't keep up the high demand. In economic terms, this is called demand pool inflation. Essentially, the demand for goods and services goes up, but the supply chain pays the tape. So, in order to meet the production margin, they basically increase the prices. For example, as I talked about, a new mobile phone. Let's take the example of iPhone 16. See, if iPhone 16 enters into the market, everybody wants to buy it. Naturally, as the supplies remain same, so what retailers will do, they will increase the price in order to maintain the equilibrium between supply and demand. Now, let's consider how this plays out in online shopping. On platforms like Amazon and Flipkart, we often see big sales and discounts. Seems like prices are lower in the sales if the overall demand for goods increases and there is not enough supply, prices can still arise outside of sales period. This shows how online buying can also influence inflation in the larger economy as more and more people shop for products, sometimes creating shortages that drives up the prices in the long run. Now, the second reason is something we see very often which is known as cost push inflation. In this case, cost to produce goods and services increases and business pass this cost onto the consumer. In the example, we often noticed is when oil prices go up, Challenges in production and transportation to maintain their profit margin, right? They increase their prices. Even online retailers who might offer discounts eventually have to raise, raise prices if their production or shipping costs go up. Right? The current 
inflation rate is at 3.65%, which we can round to 4%. Based on the RBI's long-term target of maintaining retail and inflation at 4%, let's project the future value of 1 lakh rupees over the next few decades. You will be shocked to know with an annual inflation rate at of 4%, the value of 1 lakh rupees today would decrease to about 45,800 rupees after 20 years. This means that what 1 lakh rupees can buy today will only be worth 45,800 rupees in 20 years due to inflation compounding effect. Continuing with that 4% inflation rate, 1 lakh rupees would draw further to around 23,500 after 30 years. Isn't it shocking? But how do we calculate this? formula for calculating the future value in terms of inflation adjustment. This is the formula that you can see on the screen where TV is the present value. Let's say 1 lakh rupees in this case. Inflation rate is the annual rate which is 4% or 0 0.04 and in is the number of years you can consider 10 or 20 by substituting these values you can easily evaluate the future impact of inflation i used 1 lakh rupees as an example to demonstrate inflation's impact we all know it's inflation that drives up the prices of everything they groceries do now let's talk about some strategy so that we have a grasp of what inflation is and how it can affect our life. Let's discuss some strategies to control it. One common method is through contractionary monetary policy. So, what does that mean? It aims to reduce the money supply in our economy. When the central bank lowers bond prices and raises interest rates, consumption falls. This helps prices drop and inflation slows down. The central bank in government monitor inflation closely, mainly using monetary policy. Here are two methods they use. Number one, Higher interest rate. When interest rate rise, it lowers demand, which can lead to slower economic growth and less inflation. Number two, money supply management. There's a strong link between money supply and inflation. So regulating this is very crucial. Number three, supply side policy. This aims to boost productivity and efficiency, helping keep long-term costs down. Number four, fiscal policy. Increasing income tax can reduce spending and help lower inflationary pressure. Number five, price control. While really effective, price limits can theoretically help manage inflation. Inflation can stay from too much demand as we discussed previously. Fiscal policies like reducing government spending or increasing taxes can help manage this aggregate demand. Now, let's look at the monetary measures. Number one, credit management. The central bank can raise bank rates and adjust reserve ratios to manage available credits. Number two, currency demonetization. Removing high denomination currency helps combat black money. New currency issuance. In extreme cases of hyperinflation, introducing new currency can stabilize the economy, but it might hurt small depositors. 
Understanding these concepts is very crucial for managing your finances effectively. Below, you will find the references based on which I discussed this whole topic with you. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to like, subscribe for more insights. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.